2002 Honda Accord. I'm about to perform a vacuum and I'm gonna show you teeing off the vacuum using a ball valve and a T connector that will protect oil from getting up into your micron gauge because when you do put oil in or recharge or service, you don't want refrigerant with oil getting up into your sensor of your vacuum gauge. So you can see it says high point right there. That's uh, atmospheric. And if you look right there, come on. It doesn't want to do it right now, but oh, there you go. You can see it right there. And let's go. We are one minute and 38, 40 seconds into uh, grafting. And there you see, you can see the line right there going. And it would be nice if it would focus. There you go. And it counts out the seconds and the minutes down below. So let's get this show on the road. I got the vacuum pump going. So this is the 10 CFM, the VPX7. And we're also using refrigerant gauges, what you should not be doing when you want to do a correct micron gauge reading. And this is what you do when you want to do a correct one. And uh, normally you would put the silicone hose, the vacuum rated hose directly to the port. You would skip all the refrigerant charging hoses because they kill some of your ability to pull a vacuum in the first place. Plus you're reading any contaminants that are given off by the hoses themselves. So up to this point, this is not turned in. This is not opened up. We're at 99 microns right now in pulling. I just turned it on when I started that two minutes ago. So let's start our vacuum and see what happens. There we go. And there we go. And I'm actually doing two ports right now. And why does it say calibrate gauge soon? It should not say that yet. Okay, you can see where it started to pull down. And you can see as the time is going on, you're seeing it drift over to the side because this measures both the decay over time. And you can see how far it's down already. But that is only at this point. If you look over here, we're 1,300 or 4,000 right there. So the loss of vacuum, the difference with the resistance going through the hoses to this point right here, to this point where this sensor is, is great. You have like a 2,000 plus vacuum difference because just the hose restriction itself. This is why you don't trust this if you have one of these. Now, as you see, it's still pulling down. Where are we at right there? 1,800, but we say 790 right here. Now, for me to get a real reading, I have to kill the vacuum and isolate the valve, ball valves. And as you can see, when I turn this off, it will isolate, keep this in the system, but it will separate it right here through the ball valve to the actual vacuum. And just to do a quick experiment, as you can see, we're down to 1500 microns right there. Let's turn this off. Off. And we'll back that out. And now our system is no longer connected to the vacuum pump. And you'll see this go back up. You see it at 2200 microns. So that is the microns of the system. It's no longer connected to the hoses. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna open it back up. We're gonna do this some more and I'm gonna get on to the other car on the other side of the shop here. I got another one to do so I could do this while I leave this on the vacuum pump. We'll be back.